There's gold, and it's haunting and haunting. It's living me on as a whole. Whenever I write for Nightwish, for example, I use a lot of visual aid. Um, I look at paintings, I look at beautiful pictures, uh, nature, photographs, all that kind of stuff. And they just start uh, bringing music into my head for some reason. When I see a beautiful picture of a Finnish lapis landscape or something, I hear a melody. It's just an aid that I use when I write music. Same thing with Scrooge. I started the, uh, doing this in a more concrete way in uh, 2012, as I recall. And then um, all the year 2013, I, well, we were doing a lot of shows with Nightwish as well. But uh, in between the tours, uh, I was just concentrating on writing this album. This is a soundtrack, and for a soundtrack, I just felt that uh, we need to use an orchestra. I wanted to use an orchestra. And um, we have been working with Mr. Pip Williams for the last 10 years since uh, the Ones album. We just click so perfectly well. We know immediately what the other one thinks and how we hear arrangements. So it was a really natural decision to use him for this album as well. So I sent him the demos of all the songs, I think in May, so that he had about four months to write the orchestral and choir scores. And then last September, at the end of August actually, we flew over to London and spent five days, five days there recording the orchestra's choirs, a lot of ethnic percussion, that sort of thing. It went beautifully. And after that, I have to tell you this, that we went to Scotland, of course, where Scrooge originates, and actually took a train to Rannoch Moor, where the clan castle resides. We went there to record some ambience with uh, Troy Donnelly, uh, the fellow who's playing all the alien pipes and low whistles on the album. We just spent a night there recording all the howls of the winds and uh, rain and all that to make it really, really authentic. Mm -hmm. 